currently in Orlando because I am attending the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attraction Conference here at the Orange County Center. It's actually my third time being here because I had attended during my master's degree at Ryerson University and we start the semester in September. Named entertainment professor that also ended up being my thesis supervisor had pitched the idea of going to this conference at the beginning of our curriculum and I think a lot of students at that time are sometimes thinking well like how does that apply to me or oh this is too soon in the semester blah 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 but I was the only student in my cohort that took the leap of faith to go to the conference which usually happens around October November so just two months three months in and I fell in love with it at the very beginning. So that had then brought me into wanting to do my thesis on a themed entertainment topic and since my professor is specialized in human factors and safety in rides, she had pitched me her idea of filling a gap in the regulations and standards that are happening for zip lines and so that was my thesis on wearable technology for ride safety and that's kind of how I was brought into doing publications and so the next or the second time that I came to the IAPA conference it was to actually present one of my publications at that time. Coming full circle now, having more experience in data science and how that is brought into digital marketing, while it was a like a full 180 from what I did for my thesis, which was more on like the tangible product, I wanted to bring my expertise now and specialties now into seeing how the themed entertainment industry is doing for data science or technology in general. I actually just finished the first day of the conference and I had a schedule full of talks based on digital marketing, data science, and revenue driving factors that happen in themed entertainment just because I want to know from the ground up what are the current challenges that are in the themed entertainment industry and how does technology solve or provide some of those solutions. And so now having my third time in, I kind of know the ins and outs of the conference. At IAPA, there actually is a wide gamut of offerings. They do the tours at theme parks to see like the behind the scenes. They also have the talks and conferences through the educational program. They also run a, I think a design sprint or a hackathon at the beginning of the conference. They present research. There's a large trade show. So if a company wanted to buy a virtual reality system, there's vendors that actually pitch their companies. The first time I came, um, I got a free ticket to go to the attraction at Disney Animal Kingdom to go to the Pandora section. They had a private event there. The bus actually took us through the back so that we could only enter the Pandora section. And they had foods along the side. They had jungle juice, um, cause it's Animal Kingdom. So they have like a special drink there. They also had the rides open so you can go on the Pandora, the new attraction where you're actually on the banshee and uh, you can feel kind of the banji breathing because of the mechanism put into this seated ride. The second time around was at the Universal Studios lot. I brought my boyfriend to that one and we got to go on the rock and roller coaster ride where you're, when you go up, it's actually a full 90 degrees. So you're literally like hanging from the side and then it goes really fast and you get to choose your track. To kind of bring it all together, being at this conference and being in Orlando in general just brings out the inner child in me and I just get super excited about all this stuff and so that's kind of what intrigued me to come back for the third time and I actually also reached out to my professor because I know that she comes here all the time and same with the masters in digital media professors they typically also come here but actually this year it's only just a number of students that came out and so I offered if they wanted to meet up uh, for coffee. I personally love to mentor new students and also just meet students in the program. I, I always thought it was nice to meet alumni in the program. What tips and tricks do I have or if they have any ideas for their thesis as well. So yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry so I'm going to go to Disney Springs right now. I know they have sprinkles cupcakes there so I'm also going to get one and yeah, let's go.
and I actually ended up uh, working remotely today just because of the seminars that I wanted to go to is scheduled on Monday and Wednesday and so I decided to work remotely just to fill in the gap. I knew that there was going to be a mixer on the Tuesday so I am going to be heading out to that. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of networking. <laughs> 